Hi, this is a short video on just looking at troubleshooting PPP, uh, some of the commands that we can use to uh, see what the problem might be or if it's working. So debug PPP. Debug in general is something you always wanna be careful of using. Uh, there is a debug all command, which will typically bring down your router or, or, or multi-layer switch fairly quickly. Uh, debug can consume a lot of CPU processing and a lot of memory. Uh, another one to be careful of is a debug IP packet or debug IPv6 packet is another one that you want to be really careful about. Uh, Always make sure you do undebug all uh, at the end uh, or just unspace all will do it. And uh, let's take a look at some of the different uh, debug commands. So we have debug PPP negotiation. Okay, so this helps us debug uh, whether or not the uh, LCP was negotiated correctly. Here we see LCP state is open. That's the first thing we definitely want to be able to see that. Uh, looks like that uh, they were in the negotiation phase. They both were saying they wanted to, be, to do authentication. Looks like they're doing authentication with CHAP. We'll see more here in a moment, but it looks like CHAP was a success. Here's our NCP information here, IPCP, the state is open. Okay, and actually nego negotiated this IPv4 address. And here we see the undebug all. Okay, uh, we can verify the CHAP username and password are correctly, or uh, were configured correctly using debug PPP negotiation. So it tells us here that using the using host name from the interface CHAP, using the password, okay, from interface CHAP, it's not telling us what they actually are, but it does tell us that it was a success. And the last command we'll take a look at is debug PPP authentication. Here we can see that there was a problem, okay? Uh, first of all, if we look at this last line, we look for the code, okay? And code being a four says it's a failure. What we wanna see there is three, success. We say, well, there's a failure, what caused this failure? And it looks like that, uh, it says here, oh, we look up here, it's telling us some information, it's unable to authenticate, hence the failure. Uh, no name received from peer, unable to validate response, username uh, pioneer not found. So it looks like it wasn't able to validate uh, the username pioneer. So uh, either the, uh, uh, the wrong username or the wrong password for pioneer was used, but it's unable to uh, validate that username. All right, that's just a few basic commands with troubleshooting PPP.